Maybe if I suck this down, it'll make that price easier. When in Vegas, staying in Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Jeff again with J&K Stay in Vegas. In this updated 2024 tour of Caesars Palace, we have the best rooms that you can get of the Bellagio Fountains. There are a whole bunch of properties that surround the Bellagio Fountains, but we're going to see which rooms that you can get with a fountain view and a strip view and how much that costs. We're gonna check out the casino and restaurants, the fitness center. We're gonna check out the pools. There's seven of them. And of course, give you a detailed room tour. So why don't you come with me? Check all that out and at the very end i'll tell you how much i paid for this particular room and the pros and cons that i think there are in 2024 here at caesar's palace all right let's get into this video it's going to be fun it's going to be jam-packed and i can't wait for you to see it all right let's go all right she got us in the augustus tower 44th floor Let's see how this Bellagio fountain view is here at Caesars Palace. Augustus Tower is down here, past the Starbucks. If you watched our Where's My Coffee, Where's My Room, you'll know that. So this is not our elevators. We have to go to 44th. So 36 to 45, here we go. 44. Give me two different kinds of uh, key cards here. One Mr. Chow and Peter Luger. All right, so 4460. This way. Always a really nice. Right here. Let's get in. This looks really nice on first inspection. Oh yeah, I see something there. All right guys, before we go into this full room tour, which we'll do a little bit later in this video, I just wanna tell you some of the basics of this room. This is an Augustus premium room, king non-smoking, feature a classic Caesars theme, but with a contemporary design. Cool gray tones are accented by infusions of royal blue and champagne gold. A spa style marble bathroom complements the lavish style with dual sinks and a spa tub. That'll be cool to check out later. These luxurious rooms are located on the southern end of the property near the Garden of the Gods pool, which we're gonna go down there and check out in just a couple of minutes, and near the hotel lobby for convenience. 650 square feet, white duvet, plush pillow top bed, walk-in shower, internet with your resort fee. You do get two devices, so make sure you don't do any more than that else you get charged one of the features it says is do not disturb that's just the gist let's get downstairs go check out the pool it's absolutely huge i have actually never seen it in person so i'm actually excited to go down there and check it out so let me change into my swim gear right about now got my shirt on i'm ready for the pool got my swim trunks on i don't know if i'm gonna do any swimming but i'm gonna enjoy it go down there and relax let's go check out the garden of the gods here at Caesars Palace. I can't wait. Let's go. Folks, here at Caesars Palace, there are seven total pools, five swim-up blackjack tables, 48 cabanas, and 65 day beds. The main pool that you come in here to is called the Temple Pool. There's also the Jupiter Pool, the Apollo Pool, and a few others. Look at this gorgeous spot here at Caesars Palace. I'm just in awe. Walked by this so many times on our live streams and I actually get to experience it. Pool is open, by the way, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. So if you do get here late in the afternoon after checking in, probably not gonna make it. So hopefully you're staying a couple of days, else you're gonna have to get up bright early in the morning before checkout. I really wish some of the pools were open a little later, especially during the summer. Check out the pools here at Caesars Palace. You're not gonna be disappointed. Well, I got the uh, souvenir cup here, pina colada, when in Rome, pun intended, $43. Hello. 
me if I suck this down, it'll make that price easier. When in Vegas, staying in Vegas, drink is empty. I got every last drop for 43 bucks. Uh, it's technically $40.99. I don't even feel a buzz off of it. Just to update on pool hours, by the way, it is now 5.20. Pool is still very open, so I don't know if they just don't let people in after five. Everybody's still in the pool, everybody's still lounging. So just as an FYI, I don't think the hours are, at least here at Caesars Palace, a hard and fast time stop, if you will. That's all I wanted to share. I got nothing else. Well guys, there's so many restaurants and so many things to see here on the casino floor. We're gonna take a look at all the restaurants, what they all have to offer, all their hours on each individual day. A lot of them are closed a couple days a week, so it's really important to know that. And we're gonna check out what's going on in the casino tonight, everything about that, and show you all around this wonderful property here at Caesars Palace. All right, let's go. So the Bacchanal Buffet, guys, is open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, except for Tuesday and Wednesday, it's open at 3.30 in the afternoon. So keep that in mind if you're doing a midweek stay. They don't open until 3.30 on Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, let's keep going. Impronto by Giada is open 6 a.m. to midnight. One of the new places that have just opened is the Peter Luger Steakhouse. That is open 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. But on Mondays and Tuesdays, they're only open from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Next up is Mr. Chow. They are closed on Sundays and Mondays, but they're open from Tuesday through Saturday, 5 to 10 p.m. It'll overlook all of the pools here at Caesars Palace. Speaking of pools, that is down there. You saw that earlier. Beijing noodle number nine is open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And on Friday and Saturday, they're open from 11 a.m. to 4 a.m. Let me know in the comments below if you have eaten here and checked out these cool aquariums here at noodle number nine. I hope they're not next on the menu. Come to one of the newer little restaurant spots. This is Dominique Anzel of Las Vegas. They have a lot of coffee, pastries, their hours are 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. And this is located right next to the Coliseum Tower. So if you want to get your bearings, that's where Dominique Anzel is located, right next to the Coliseum Tower, levels 50 through 69. Next up is Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill. Now this is different than your Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen, which is outside of Caesar's Palace. This restaurant is open 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Except for Saturday and Sunday, they're open at 10.30 a.m. So just down from Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill, you have the Forum Food Hall, which has a Starbucks. It has a new Guy's Chicken Guy over here. It has a Ramen Place, Halal Guy's, another Bobby's Burgers, and the Stadia Bar, which is located over here. And again, this is the Forum Food Hall. So if you remember the beginning of the video, self-parking valet is down that way. Coming straight across is Vanderpump Vegas. It's open from 4 p.m. to midnight on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, they're open from noon to midnight. Friday, they're open noon to one. And Saturday, they're open 10 to 1 a.m. And Sunday, they're open from 10 a.m. to midnight. Caesars Coliseum, which has the killers, residency of Garth Brooks plus one, Jerry Seinfeld, whole bunch of great shows. So if you wanna see a show at the Coliseum, it's right back here in the back of the property. Maybe a little difficult to find, but just find where uh, Vanderpump is and you'll easily find where the Coliseum is. Now, if you do a 180 right from the Coliseum, you'll find Vista Cocktail Lounge is open from 10 a.m to 2 a.m. Now another 180 degree turn will bring you to Bobby Flay's Amalfi. This is a Mediterranean restaurant and they are open from 4.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's got the whole Mediterranean vibes in here. Definitely check that out. And if you're a poker player, the poker room is right next to Amalfi, right over there. And next to this is the sports book here at Caesars Palace. Get your betting on, you can do that over here. And next to that is Omnia Nightclub. Omni Nightclub is open from 10.30 p.m. to 4 a.m. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They are closed on Mondays and Wednesdays. Wanna get your dance and nightlife on? Check out Omnia. Next up is Stanton Social Prime from Chef Chris Santos. I guess three dollar signs, so you can probably guess about how expensive it is. But their hours are 5 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. daily, except on 
Friday and Saturday, they're open till 11.30 p.m. Guy Savoy's Brioche, where you can get some coffee, some pastries as well. They're open every day from noon to midnight. So if you want to get your coffee on, you can get it here. Nobu is right over here. So it encompasses an entire U over here. Another Bobby Flay restaurant, Brazzy B. They are open for brunch, 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Then they close for one hour, and then they do dinner from 4.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Over across the way from Nobu Restaurant. Restaurants that are out here, Terraza by Cafe Americano. We'll see what that is. If you remember that from our previous Where's My Coffee, Where's My Room, Cafe Americano is just pretty much a 24-hour a day restaurant. And right next to that is Absinthe. Absinthe is open Monday through Thursday and Sunday with shows at 8 p.m and 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, they have three shows, one at 7 p.m., one at 9 p.m., and one at 11 p.m. Check out Absinthe, it's a great show. So right inside of Absinthe, there is a little pop-up called No Pants. They pretty much have a couple of burgers and some tater tots. So check that out if you're going to the Absinthe show. And then right across the way, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, which is different from the pub and grill that we saw inside. Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen is open every day from 11 a.m. Hey. to 11 11.30 p.m. And Gordon welcomes you right as soon as you walk in there. Turn around from Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, you will find the Four Face Brahma. If you want to know all about that, check out our Hidden Gems video on our channel. Let's go see where the gym is. Center. That's what we want. It's a busy gym. They got some waters here as well. Right outside, they also have this hair salon over here. So if you need to get your hair done in a pinch, there is a hair salon here. And some nice spa vibes here and a little uh, store here off to the side. All right. It's room tour time. As we enter into this beautiful King room in the Augustus Tower, 4460, 44th floor, overlooking the Bellagio Fountains. Take a look at the bathroom in just a second. Open up the wardrobe, and we have an ironing board, an iron, that's good, and a safe for a safe place. Nice king sized bed with a nice footrest to put on your shoes here. They do have power right here on the lamp. Got four pillows here on the bed. Going across the other way, they do have, of course, another power outlet here. Got this nice wireless charging. Let's see if my phone works here. It does, nice. And USB-C here, USB-A, two ports of USB-A and two power outlets as well. That is really convenient. Beautiful couch to lounge around in. Big foot rest here for everybody. Clean a nice fancy chair, nice area to eat, and that view, which we'll take a look in a minute. Nice floor lamp over there. Decent sized TV. And coming over, you got your ice bucket here. Got plenty of storage here. And a smaller like sock underwear drawer here. And then one right below. If you're desperate, they actually have a charging cord that you can purchase. There are no prices on here, of course. Use at your own risk. <laughs> but if you need a charger, just go across the street to CVS. You can even get into these cupboards here or spaces to put things in. Opening up the mini bar, just being very careful. Got some selection of beers in here, orange juice, champagne, small bottles of liquor, pretty much everything you could probably want. And I'm not gonna even move to see what the labels are, else I will be charged. And moving over to our little desk over here. Look at this. Where's my coffee? It's right here in your room. A little Keurig right here. The coffee pot looks like plugged into here, but I just noticed that they have another USB port here for charging. 
USB-A it looks like. Nice. Probably use that for uh, some editing later. And a huge mirror here by the front door. Nicely well lit as well. Let's go check out this beautiful bathroom. A nice walk-in shower. You don't just get a tub. You get a jacuzzi tub with this room. Huge mirror above the jacuzzi tub. And then you have wonderful double sinks here, washcloth on each side, a couple of glasses, some body wash, conditioner, shampoo, and a little makeup mirror here. And then the turlet room. Nice tiled floor, marble, or whatever it may be. Well, everybody, back in the J&K studios here at home to give you my final thoughts, pros and cons, and what I paid for this room. First of all, pros are pools everywhere. There's seven pools at the Garden of Gods, so there's something for everybody. Another pro is you've got most of the restaurants that are open till midnight or later, like Cafe Americano, which is open 24 hours a day. The room was gorgeous, beautiful, deep bathtub, bed was comfy. Of course, every place is really expensive. That's no different here at Caesars Palace as you saw with my $43 pina colada getting caught in no rain. That is gonna be expensive. Just go ahead and maybe go across the street and get some CVS and get a couple of drinks and some snacks there. That'll help you out with your budget. And if I could give you some tips. So if you wanna get this Bellagio Fountain View, pick an even number in the Augustus Tower. Also, speaking of the towers, the Augustus Tower, if you make a left out of that tower, go down that hallway like if you're going to the Octavius Towers, follow the hallway all the way around, it'll get you a shortcut to the Bacchanal Buffet and to the Garden of Gods pools instead of going all the way around through the casino. So that brings me to what did I pay for this room? Well, initially the room was $85 a night plus $56.63 in resort fees, I kid you not. Then there's the tax on the room for $11.37. Now, in order to get the really high top view, that 44th floor, I did pay for an upgrade. That was $113.38. So for a total of $268.38, for those views and that room, that's a highly upgraded room, 650 square feet. I think it was very much worth it. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's worth it and what your favorite part was of the video. I'd really like to know. Leave it in the comments below. These videos, J and K, staying in Vegas, our little staycations are gonna be coming to you every week and maybe multiple times a week. So we're really expanding our channel here in 2024. Hope you're enjoying it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to J and K Stay in Vegas for even more content hear from your locals here in Las Vegas. Also, take it one step further and turn on those bell notifications to be alerted to every time we post a new video just like this or when we go live like we do most Saturday nights. All right, everybody, until the next one, you know it. Stay safe and stay silly. Bye-bye, everybody.